because everybody like, is going to it. have an opinion. Somebody can have an opinion on your car. Somebody could have an opinion on how you live your everyday life. It's irrelevant. Okay. You have to be real with yourself. If you aren't real with yourself and you try to hide it from yourself because you're afraid you're going to look bad, you're only hurting yourself. Correct. The big message here is it's okay to not be okay. Focus on what matters on making you happy. Yeah. Don't focus on someone else bringing you your happiness because that's not going to work yeah, out. Yeah, because that's temporary. It's going to go away. Of at course. At some point. Yep. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I have a special guest. Hi. One that you've seen before. And today's video is going to be a challenge and we are doing the we are doing the word association challenge where we say a word and the other one has to say whatever word comes to mind first. Yes. So we each have 20 words and we're going to take turns. You'll go first. I guess I'll go last. Okay. And it's a drink with me challenge. Cheers. Okay. So, so I'm going to read you your questions first okay and then i'll write down your answers and then we'll review it okay okay so ready i'm ready i'm not gonna look i'm just gonna okay yeah stay with you guys ready first word is and now do i have a time limit no you don't have a time limit we can do it however so i can long... sit here and take my time to of think. course yeah oh. yeah yeah let's yeah okay yeah, whatever, just, sh I mean, obviously shoot out the first word. Don't think of three words and then shoot out the third one. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you ready? Nervous. I'm I know. Ready. Me too. Okay. Ready? First word is brain. Brain. <laughs> Hypocampus. Oh, okay. Um, second word. Or hippocampus. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> second word is soul. Mate. Oh, Okay. Third word is beautiful. Intelligence. Ooh, I like it. Next one is rescue. Rescue. Mm -hmm. um, this is odd, but they watch came to my mind first. Okay. I don't know why. Whatever comes to mind yeah. first, we're just, we'll just okay. roll with it. It's a break. <laughs> yeah, after that, yeah. Because I've never even seen they watch. Me neither. Um, next <clears throat> one is therapy. Therapy. Necessity. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, next one is humans. Oh, what's her name? Christina P... Uh, oh, what's her name? Chris, she's a musician. Christina P... Pieri? Pieri? We're gonna write... We're writing down responses so that we can go back and discuss why we thought of that first. That's what you think of first? Her? Yeah, she's got this song. It's called I'm Only Human. It's my absolutely most favorite song. You should listen to it. That when we sense. explain, we'll go into it. I'll link it. Yeah. Okay, the I next one I just can't one remember her name. Is Future. Future. Oof. Bleak. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, the it's... next one is Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Me. Okay. That's that a break. <laughs> okay. I mean, yep. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Cheers. The next one will be dream. Dream big. Okay. So next one is anxiety. Extreme. Mm, that's a good one. No. Okay. Body. Mm, not confident. <laughs> we will change that. <laughs> We are changing that slowly. You're right. You'll love the next oh one. Oh, God. Drunk. <laughs> Folly. Yeah. <laughs> Wealthy. Wealthy, overrated. Oh. Okay, that's a good one. Tolerated. Tolerated? Mm hmm. Happens too often. Oof. Wait, oh. am I supposed to? Can, is that does that count? Um, am I supposed to be phrase. giving a one word? Okay. It's a phrase, so I'll accept. That's the it. first thing that comes yeah, to mind. Yeah, because it's your thought. Addiction. Mm. Been there. Mm, that's a really good thought. Okay. Vulnerable. Scary. Mm, that's a good one. I like that word. I think that's my favorite so far. Yeah. 
technique. <laughs> technique? Mm -hmm. I have no idea what comes to mind. Nothing. Technique. Technique. I, th I think, I think, like, about a ballerina dancer, how she... Okay. Ballerina. Is that, is that mental yep. health related? Nope, but that's what oh, first comes to mind. Oh, okay. Touch. Touch. <sighs> Lacking. I need more. You want that to go on the internet? Sure. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people struggle with marriage, man. We gotta talk about that. You're right. Yeah, you're right. It's not perfect. Nothing ever it's is. Not even me. Nope. <laughs> I know y'all think I am, but <laughs> trust me, I'm not. <gasps> Drinks. <laughs> uh -huh. Panic. At the disco. I can't with you. That it's a really, band. That really shows your age. <laughs> really shows your age. Sorry, sorry, like I'm fine. <laughs> um, traumatic. Mm, my life. We'll go with it. And journey. My life. Um. <laughs> okay, next second thought. Yeah. Um, journey. I don't know how to summarize this. Um, like, I don't know what you want to write, but somewhere I'm going, something I want to be on, like where Important. I want. Important. Um, sure. Okay. Yeah. Because you want to be on it, so it, it must be important. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Wow, you did really okay. good. I'm scary. <laughs> okay, let's explain it while we're here. Okay. Okay, so number one, I said brain. You said hippocampus. Yeah. Hippocampus. Hippocampus. I don't know if it's hippo or hypo. I don't remember. I just know what it looks like on paper. Yeah. So like the technical it's, it's like a part terms. of your brain. Right. It's like a section in your brain. Um, and the only reason I say that is because I have been recently listening to an ebook from Jay Shetty, Think Like a Monk. And he talks about that part of your brain. Uh, but that part of your brain um, causes you to lose memory. And uh, like when you have stress and stuff, it it hurts that part of your brain. It affects everything. It does, yeah. yeah. So with this book, you know, it's all about Take finding me, yourself yeah. and, you know. I'll link the book below. I know there's controversy on Jay Shetty. Absolutely. We're both aware of that. But we do take in some credit of what he says. Not everything is the information. The information is still helpful. Correct. It's it's very good information. Mm -hmm. And it, it, granted, in the book, he does cite a lot of his information. So, yeah. But I guess what's most important is like the actual. It's message. the takeaway. It's, it's the takeaway. Yeah, it is the effort. It is. So next, I said soul, and you said me. Mm -hmm. I guess that's self-explanatory yeah, right? you. You're like my best friend soulmate. You're my soulmate. I know. I yes. love you. <laughs> um, no, I feel like sometimes people in life, they hear the word soulmate. And they spend their entire life looking for their soulmate. I, you're going down the exact road I was thinking. Yeah. And it's like you miss out it, on half of your life yeah. because you're so determined to find this one particular person. I agree. And just enjoy life. Don't worry about your soulmate. If you find a great experience life together. Or her. Or her. Yeah, sorry. Um, but in the meantime, don't disregard your entire life looking yeah. for the soulmate. Live your life. Yeah. You may not find one. your soulmate until you're 70. Kudos to you if you find your soulmate at 70. I'm proud of you. But if you've wasted your entire life looking, that's 70 years you've wasted. Yeah, instead of focusing on what makes you happy as a person. I feel like we both feel the same way. Focus on what matters on making you happy. Yeah. Don't focus on someone else bringing you your happiness because that's not going to work yeah, out. Yeah, because that's temporary. It's going to go away of at course. some point. Yep. Okay, so the next one was Rescue, mm -hmm. and you said Baywatch. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. I've never seen Baywatch. Um, I thought about Rescue, and immediately I thought about someone drowning and a lifeguard coming to save them. That works, too. No, that works <laughs> no too. idea why. Okay. Um, but, I mean, uh, we could somehow relate this, and people could drown within themselves and need someone to rescue them. So it doesn't necessarily mean... Like, Baywatch has to come rescue you. I yeah. mean, people drown internally sometimes. Figure of speech. You know, you have all this stuff weighing on you. And you just need someone to come relieve you of that. To be there for you. To comfort you. Right. And you've got this safety net. 
that's there for you for support. If that makes sense. So, yeah. Okay, I'll take it. All right, and the next one I said was beautiful, and you said intelligence. I think beauty is so much deeper than what people see on the outside. Anybody can be beautiful on the outside. Anyone can be I not so beautiful agree. on the outside. But it matters about what's inside. You could take the most beautiful, physically beautiful person, and they could be the most ugly person. On the and, inside. Yeah. yeah. And I think beauty is within. And to me, it's when you when you realize that and you finally have that intelligence of beauty is within, it mm -hmm. changes your whole perspective on the world. I agree. I think even the younger generation who have accelerated at beauty, the generation underneath us so more like more quickly than what we did at that age. Yeah. It's completely it's like two different worlds. It is. The next one is humans. And it's Christina Perry. Christina yeah. Perry. That's who I was up. looking for. I looked it up. Okay. And why did you say her name? Because she sings this song and it's called I'm Only Human. And I can't remember all the lyrics. It's been a minute since I've listened to it. But she talks about how she's only human. And she bleeds when she falls down. Mm. And when you listen to the song, it's just so powerful how people expect you to be so perfect and she references herself to a machine and how it's almost supposed to be robotic and perfect and no faults. And at the end of the day, you realize you're only human. You're going to fall down. You're going to bleed. And have I heard that? I don't know, but it's amazing. We're going to listen to it in a second. Okay, yeah, We're going to pause we this done. and listen. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's absolutely amazing. And I, when I'm having a moment, uh, like a really down moment I blast that song in my car and it just takes me back to reality and I realize I'm not meant to be perfect yeah and when I am perfect I'm not real <clears throat> yeah I become that machine and that's not what I'm meant to be that's a really good one it's beautiful oh man I can stay away today I can do it <gasps> I can do it. Okay, anxiety. You said extreme. I have extreme anxiety. Something I struggle with constantly. I've always refused to get put on medication for it. Um, due to some issues at home, I have tried to get on medication for it. Um, so far, I haven't found anything that's been helpful, but we are still working on it. But my anxiety gets to the point where at some point it consumes me yeah and which i bet for most people it does it does yeah um, it's something that's very real it's not something that should be taken lightly some people try to brush it over and say oh yeah. just don't worry but it's, yes. it's not that easy um, yeah it's like it's like a mental mind game within yourself so for someone else to come in and say don't worry it's like that doesn't even like phase you when you hear it because yeah. you're like it's, it's not that easy you have it, to... it upsets me when people say don't worry because yeah. they don't understand yeah how our brain works yeah. and I, I have a little bit of well a little bit I have a lot of OCD mixed in with mine and it's it's a very real thing yeah I agree and the next thing I said therapy and you said necessary yeah next thing that pops in my head is is beauty <laughs> um <laughs> Therapy is beauty. Just side note there. But yeah, therapy is necessary. I feel like a lot of people get the idea if they have to go to therapy, there's something wrong with them. Yeah. Or that they're weak. Which was the case when yeah. we were growing it's, up. It's almost like a taboo topic. Oh, yeah. you're in therapy? Why are you in therapy? Mm -hmm. Don't tell anyone you're in therapy. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a release. It's, yeah. it's amazing just to have that outlet and not even an outlet, but someone to help you understand and comprehend and walk you through your feelings. And how your brain your works about those feelings. Because Absolutely. that's what those people are trained in. Like therapists, they're trained in to break down those terrible negative thoughts and to help you really realistically work through your negative thoughts which is a and not even tool. negative but if you're a positive person if you're positive 100 percent of that the time too. yeah come on now surely you've got to have a bad day and if you don't 
That's true. Are you faking it at some point? I'm sure there's nobody out there that can be 100% content with 100% of the things 100% of the time. Yeah. And I think everyone benefits from therapy. I think it's great. Yeah, that's true. The next thing is heartbroken and you said me, which is you. Me, yeah. (laughs) So, I don't know. I feel like I'm going through some stuff right now. Um, That's something for a completely different video. We will get to it, though, because we are all about therapy. Yes. But I'm going through some stuff, and I feel like... Cheers. Cheers. I feel like heartbroken could describe me right now. Um, It's not anything that's going to keep me down or get me... um, Well, it got me down, but it's not going to keep me down. Of course. And, but yeah, I would say I go through moments where I feel heartbroken. Yeah. I do. And... And that's okay. Say that again. It's okay. It's definitely okay. There's nothing wrong with it. The big message here... Can't be in denial. The big message here is it's okay to not be okay. Absolutely. Just work through it. It's... The the problem is when you're not okay and you tell yourself that you are. And that you'll never get out of it. That's the problem. Don't do that. You will get out of it. Next word is future and you said bleak. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know why. It could be the wine. Um, I, could be. Probably coming off the heartbroken thing. That may be the first thing that popped in my mind. And I feel like, how am I going to get out of it? But at the end of the day, you just have to take one day at a time. We live, I forget the number, so don't quote me on this. But we live some something like 90% of our lives based on the past and the future. Uh, I was like, what number? Yeah, that also came from the, the ebook thing like a month. But a lot of us focus so much on either the past of what we've been through and how we could have changed things, or our future. How is it going to work out? We try to premeditate things. What Mm. happens if I do this? How is this conversation going to go? What am I going to do tomorrow? We live so much of our time in the past and the future, we don't think about the present. And Mm, I do that. I do it. I do it a lot. And I've tried to become mindful of it. And I realize how much I do it. And we need to focus on our present instead of worrying so much about our future. Because when I sit here and see this and realize I'm thinking my future is going to be bleak, the more I think about that, that's probably what's going to happen. You get from the universe because you what focus you put on into it. it. You right. focus on it. That's where your energy is going, and that's what you're going to get. So mm. if you focus on now and not worry about now, I'm not saying don't have a plan for the future. Yeah. But focus on now, and you don't know what your future is going to be. That's that's amazing. Yeah. That almost reminds me of Isabel Page, the Mountain Girl that I sent you. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, we all need to live a life like her. I'll link it below. The next one I said was drunk. <laughs> and you did me? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. We've had a few drinks we while all we did know. our makeup. We all know. <laughs> it's just me and you. We both know I'm the lightweight at a group right here. She is. She is. And even when you add in all my other five friends, I'm still the lightweight. Moving on. The next one I said was dream, and you said big. Big. Dream big. You can never have too many dreams. Granted, we know some of our dreams will happen, some won't. But when I was a kid, my mom used to always tell me, dream big, dream for the extreme, and maybe someday you'll get at least half of what you dream for. And if you dream Hmm. small, and you only achieve half of that, you're going to get something small. Wow. Yeah. So dream extremely big, you may get half of it, and it'll still end up being Because realistically, as an adult, when you hear that, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if I wish for a mountain lion, I'm probably not going to get a mountain lion. I don't know why I want a mountain lion, but I may, yeah. I may end up with a cat, you know? That makes sense. <laughs> or if I dream to be the CEO of Apple, I don't know. I mean, I get it, but who knows? I could be a, an intern CEO. accountant for Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Okay, I was going to so, say yeah. a CEO of another company. There you go. But it's the whole point of she taught you to dream. Yeah. That's important. And you have to dream big. Yeah. You have to. Next one I said was tolerated, and you said happens too often. Yes, I tolerate stuff that I shouldn't way too much. And it's because 
I've always been a people pleaser, which we've talked about in past videos. Go check them out. I will link that yes. up in the corner. I just do that too much. And sometimes it, it's where you have to pick your battles. Sometimes mm -hmm. you let things go, you tolerate it, that's fine. But you can't tolerate everything all the time. At some point you've got to draw mm, Right. And that's something I've got to work on. Because right now I tolerate everything. And some of it I shouldn't. And this is why I bring you on my channel. Because you're real about the real stuff. And yeah. The real stuff that matters. Yeah, because... You, you have you don't to be, hide nothing. You have to be real with yourself. If you aren't real with yourself and you try to hide it from yourself because you're afraid you're going to look bad, you're only hurting yourself. Correct. You have to And you have to be put real. yourself first. Even if you don't tell anybody. You don't have to come on a channel. You don't have to voice it to the world. That's fine. You have to tell yourself. That is key. Oh, that is genius. Yeah, nobody's got to know yeah. but you. But you have to be real with yourself. Or you're never going to get anywhere. This is why I love And from day one, you've told me I was your best friend because I was so real with you about of course. the issues I had growing up. Listen, y'all, she is the first person I've ever met that was so blatantly obvious about herself. I do this wrong. I do that wrong. I don't like how I do this. I don't like how I do that. And at first, it comes off negative. But when you see that person... I saw her as being honest with herself. I didn't see her with, oh, woe is me. I'm picking on myself. Look at me. I can see her honest, genuine opinion. Okay, I see this, and now I want to work on it. That is freaking amazing. Yeah, it's not a pity party. It's, it's not. There it's is a not. difference. You're not asking for pity. She wasn't asking, oh, Holly, feel bad for me because I view things so negative. She wasn't doing that. She was like, hey, I know I'm aware of X, Y, and Z, and I'm about to fix that. Boss. <laughs> mm. And the next one is body, and you said not confident. Yeah. So this one, um, this is a mental health channel, so I'm going to dive into my mental health. Uh, cheers <laughs> to that. So I've always been plus size, bigger figured, curvy, however you want to label it. And I have always been picked on, teased, taunted, everything. Um, someone extremely close to me has made several negative comments. Somebody that I trust and lean on and depend on. Not, not me. Holly. <laughs> not me. Um, and this person has filled me with so much negativity about my body image. And I know at the end of the day that it's not about what I look like. It's about what's in mm -hmm. my heart. Mm -hmm. But once you hear these negative comments so much, I'm a human. It's going to affect me. Mm -hmm. And it, it does. And society makes us think we should be size two or four. Um, now, granted, we are moving more towards full-figure girls, yes. and I'm so thankful for that. But for sure. some days, it's real, and it's hard to embrace the body that you have. And some days, I'm not confident. And it's fine. I don't dwell on it. I just have my day, and right. then I move on. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, I tell myself how beautiful I am. I love that. Some days, I do, I do lack confidence. It well, does happen. Cheers to that. Cheers. To focus on the positive. Yeah. Even though we know there's negative attached to it. Because guess what? When we die, we're all bones. No one sees our body. At all. All bones, y'all. Mm. I like that clip. Yep. Okay. The next one is addiction, and you said been there. Yeah, so that's going to be another day, another time, another video, but I have definitely been there on... Um, several different areas of the spectrum. Topics or categories? Yeah. And it's it's not something to be taken lightly. Everyone struggles with different types of addiction. For sure. And you just, there's no way you're going to be able to get help for it unless you realize there's a problem. Your family's going to try to help you. Everyone around you is going to try to help you. And mm -hmm. it's going to be to no avail if you don't realize yourself that you have an addiction mm -hmm. and once you realize that at that point you'll be able to come out of it and 
you don't know what their life is going to be. I love that. I mean, it's, it's going to be amazing once you realize that. So you just never know what your future is going to be. You just have to be willing to, to be open and find yourself. I love that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. The next one was vulnerable. Mm, my favorite. And you said scary. It is. Which People are. I think I would agree. It is. Yeah. yeah. People are absolutely afraid to open themselves up. We all, well, I'm not going to say all. Terrified. Most, Most of us build walls. Mm -hmm. I do it. Um, I don't do it as much as I used to, but I still do it. Because when we make ourselves vulnerable, we open up. We put everything on the table. And depending on what you've been through, that's hard sometimes. Because yeah. you don't know what that person is going to do with that power. And... Mm. To make yourself vulnerable, you're you're putting all of your trust in that person. Which is hard to do for a lot of people. Absolutely. A lot of people. But baby steps, one thing at a time. And don't just throw everything out on the table because that's how you end up getting hurt by the wrong people sometimes. Be mm -hmm. cautious, but don't necessarily build, you know, a fireproof wall for everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. And the next one was wealthy, mm -hmm. and you said overrated. It is. Um, so, perfect example. I had my kids in the car the other day. We went to the Biltmore house for Christmas. And they said, if you could have five things in the world, what would you pick? They asked you that? Yeah, they're eight and ten. These are the conversations we have. I love that. So. <laughs> That's good, though. Yeah, so I, I picked my five things. And they said, well, do you not want money? And I said, No. I don't want money. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, why? You don't want a lot of money? And I said, no. And they just could not understand why I didn't say money. Mm. And I had to explain to them that money does not equal it, wealth. Yeah, money. Money does not equal wealth. Exactly, exactly. Wealth could mean a happy life with exactly. friends and family. Wealth could mean friendships that you value yeah. you could deem yourself wealthy if you have friendships mm -hmm. oh well that kind of goes against everything i said when i said it's overrated <laughs> so i think it depends oh, on did. how you view it though yeah that's what i was it thinking because i, on, you're I view it differently yeah. yeah i immediately thought money yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so you know, I had it's it's crazy, but I had to try and explain to to an eight year old and a and ten, a 10 year, old year old why money is not necessary. Um, now, granted, it does make life a little bit easier, right? But it's not necessary because at that point, it's not like number one. It becomes yeah, exactly. Yeah, when you're focused on that, it becomes your priority, and you forget about everything else. You almost become filled with evil. Yeah, is the like way I tried to explain. Greed, it. almost. Greed. Yeah. yeah. I agree. And let's do technique. And you said a ballerina. A ballerina. Yeah, I had no idea ballerina? what to say. Ballerina? <laughs> I had no idea ballerina? what to say for technique. Um, but the first thing that popped in my head was a ballerina and the technique they use to just dance on their toes. It's I agree, though. Yeah, it does look I've always wanted very to be a graceful. Ballerina. Yeah. I said panic, and you said at the, at the disco. disco. <laughs> Woo! I'm um, like a punk rock kind of girl, y'all. You kind of are. We're kind of yeah. a little bit opposite in music. Only a little bit. Yeah. I think we overlap in that 90s and 2000s. Absolutely. Old school. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Self explanatory. Mm hmm. The next one is touch, and you said lacking of. Yeah, because I, okay, with the five love languages. I was just about to say that. I was like, is it the five love languages? Mine is that your love language? touch. Yeah. And I, I can be greedy with attention, y'all, which is something I'm working on. Quality with. time. Yeah, I yeah. absolutely need touch and quality time. Yeah, those and are my top two. It's such a comfort for me. Even if it's just like a brush on the shoulder, like just to have that contact. Yes. It's, uh, it's perfect. I yeah. can never get enough of it. Which, I mean, obviously that's our, like we have the same one, is quality time and touch. Those are our top two, so I feel like, <laughs> as we said before. Yeah. But we obviously know that's not everybody's. 
and everybody gives differently and everybody receives differently. So we understand that a hundred percent, but it's just why she was explaining touch and yes. comfort and all of that stuff. For me. The next one is traumatic and you said my life. Cheers. Cheers.